This video is going to briefly demonstrate how to purchase a vehicle in the new vehicle sales module in Garage Hive. This must be set up um, and enabled by one of the support team. If vehicle sales is something you're interested in, uh, then just please contact a member of support. Uh, so to start with, you need to be in the vehicle sales administrator role center. So under my settings, you'll see a new role center called vehicle sales administrator. And now we want to uh, purchase a vehicle. So we need to start by raising a purchase invoice. The deal type code, uh, we must select vehicle sales. This Again, this is all part of setup. So this may not be in your system if it's not been set up. Uh, we'll use a sample vendor in this demonstration. And then we're gonna go ahead and add an item uh, to this purchase invoice. So we're going to create a new item and you will have a vehicles item category. So if we select vehicles, you'll see a new section on the item card that you haven't seen before, uh, which is called vehicle sales. This will only apply um, if you select the vehicle category at uh, the vehicle item category. So now we're just going to go ahead and type in a vehicle registration here. What the system will do is it will pre-populate the description with the vehicle reg, the make model, and some trim information. Uh, and then what we can do, we can state whether the vehicle is VAT qualified or not. So I just want you to watch what happens under the uh, VAT product posting group. So by default, the vehicles are set to on VAT qualifying. Um, if we change it to VAT qualifying, you'll see it will, it will change the VAT um, product posting group to standard. In this case, we're going to be non-VAT qualified. At this point, uh, you can also state the source vendor of the vehicle and the funder vendor of the vehicle. This is all to do with if, if you um, have funders uh, for your vehicle stock. Um, this is used in Power BI um, and some reporting, basically. In this case, we're just going to leave these blank. Uh, so now we just press OK. Uh, it must be a quantity of one. And uh, let's just put the purchase price of the vehicle in. So you'll see it's come through a zero VAT because this vehicle is not VAT qualifying. Uh, at this point, I just need to type in a vendor invoice number. Um, so this, this will just be on the invoice that you receive from wherever you're buying the car from. And then it's just as simple as posting. So posting and post. Do you want to post the invoice? Yes, we do. that vehicle is now in stock. That is how you purchase a vehicle. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Thank you.